So the players, the coaching staff, the fans, everyone associated with the two clubs, as you would expect, absolutely buzzing for Wembley. But how exciting a prospect is the Tetley's Challenge Cup final? For us journalists, uh, well, let's speak to a few of them. Trevor Baxter from The Mirror, Jack Did, and follows Wigan for BBC Manchester. James Smales uh, goes home and away with Hull FC for the whole Daily Mail. Trevor, start with you. How appetising is a, a Hull FC versus Wigan Cup final? I think it's um, a fantastic uh, prospect, George. We've got Wigan, the Cup Kings, and, and Hull FC, who are determined to, to win something after... You know, a couple of years in the in the doldrums. I think it's a, a real mouthwatering prospect. We've got James, the big favourites, Wigan, albeit slightly in different form, which we'll come on to in just a moment. But <laughs> Hull FC have got this Wembley hoodoo to, to kind of overturn. They have, but they're always the underdogs. I, I, you have to go back to 1983 when Hull FC lost that, that big cup upset to Featherstone for the last time they actually went into any sort of major final, whether it be a grand final or a Challenge Cup, where they were underdogs. So they'll relish that. This Wembley hoodoo thing, it's got to end sooner or later. It's, it's, it's gone on for far too long for, for the whole fans. You've got to feel, keep on going if they well, don't you've win. Got to feel sorry. I know people that have been <laughs> going since 1959 and that have been watching them you know, lose finals now for, for 50 years. And it's got to end. And they think it'll end this year. They, they generally do. And I, and I think they've got a chance. Rovers well, fans will have to sing a different song then. Well, that's George true. As well, yeah. Yeah. well, that's something to worry about afterwards, perhaps. Jack, what's happened to Wigan in the last month or so? They're, they are favourites going into this, but but on form, you perhaps wouldn't make them that. No, you wouldn't. They're not going to take good form into the Challenge Cup final, George, at all whatsoever. In fact, the, the form team at the moment of these two will be Hull. But I, I think Rugby League is going to be the real winner here at the weekend. There's going to be a story either way. Wigan are the Challenge Cup kings. It's a great situation for them. They've been there very recently. And, of course, the FA Cup also already resides in the boardroom at the DW Stadium so there's that incentive but I think Hull will be doubly determined this time around I also think and this is where Rugby League is a great winner there's a story either way if Hull win it I think that's good for the game it gives another opportunity to a team outside the top four which have dominated Super League and the Challenge Cup in very very recent years as well so you know Rugby League can only win with whoever wins on the day at Wembley Rugby League again for me is just going to be the Big winner in this. It's fantastic to have a game like this. It's so important, isn't it, Trevor? When we get this window, this national window, to 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 give a bit of profile to the sport that we have, as Jack alludes to, a, a cup final that we can be proud of. We we need it. We want it to be special, especially given that it's World Cup year as it is. Absolutely. We just spoke to Sam Tompkins before, and he was asked whether what has given him the most pleasure, the the Challenge Cup final win or, or the Grand Final win. And I think he sort of leans a little bit towards the Challenge Cup because the grand final, as good as the game is at Old Trafford, it's not got the longevity, the history that the Challenge Cup has got. And I think everybody you know, in the country knows about the Challenge Cup. Not, maybe not everybody knows about the grand final. Mm. And for Hull, uh, speaking to players such as Kirk Yeeman, who's experienced defeat and victory, but a lot of players, I suppose that goes for Wigan as well, there are a lot of players in those sides who, who've never tasted Wembley before. So there's, there's going to be quite... Um, quite a big emphasis on the players who have been there. Yeah, there's only three players in the, in the Hull FC team that have, that have been there and won the Challenge Cup. I think there's only four that have actually played in, in the final at Wembley. So they don't have that experience. They could, they could start with Jamie Shaw at full-back. He's played the last the last three or four games for Hull FC. He's, he's only, been fantastic. Uh, fantastic he, he has, and he's only ever played five senior games in his entire career. So not only does he not have any cup experience, He's, he's not got any professional experience as well, but that's the, not a bad thing. No, at it? the same time we youth. Look when Zach Hardick had broke into the Leeds team, and within six games he was playing in the grand yeah. final. Did, did I know Stevie Ward last year play yeah. for uh, for Leeds as well? You know, I hadn't played many games, and with youth just comes exuberance and that that sort of attitude that they can take on the world. So it's not always a bad thing, and 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 it could play into all FC's favour. And you got the experience, the likes of Gareth Ellis, but on the other side of that, Wigan have got players like Lee Mossop and Pat Riches who want to sign off with a win with their, with their best mates at Wembley. Fantastic incentive, isn't it? Uh, Pat Richards has been with the Warriors for about eight years. We now know that Lee Mossop is leaving as well. There's so many individual people who can win the game, George, on both these two teams. I think Daniel Holsworth has had an outstanding season for Hull as well. Wigan, from their perspective, needs to keep a very close eye on him. You've got Sam Tompkins, who's missed the large chunks of the season, but he's bike. He played at Catalan Dragons last week. You know, whichever area you look at, you know, there's going to be real tight individual contests and 
people quite rightly as well are talking about a repeat of the 1985 Challenge Cup final, which was an absolute classic. Yeah, we'd this, take that, wouldn't we? Oh, without a doubt, George. And you're quite right, you know, to, to talk about uh, the history of the Challenge Cup and what this means to people as well. You know, it's just a fantastic occasion. It always is the Challenge Cup final, but this particular one just might be that little bit special. It's going to be very, very tight, I think. Match winners, wherever you look on the team. And it's great that a young lad could play in the Challenge Cup final for Hull. Going back to what I said previously, you know, we need more of a, a competitiveness about Super League. We need somebody every now and again to really seriously challenge you know, one of our top teams in a cup final, whether it's a grand final, this is a Challenge Cup final. Just going to be fantastic. Are you going to be wearing those shorts at Wembley, by the way? <laughs> no, <laughs> Sam Tompkins will be wearing these shorts, <laughs> along with his cherry and white boots. He's already asked me. <laughs> uh, predictions then. Uh, can Hull FC do this, Trevor? I would say they could, but I'm just worried that they're obviously missing a couple of key players. You know, uh, Shannon McDonald's not there. Ben Crooks isn't there. We're not sure at this stage whether Tom Lynham's going to be there. I think with those three in, I think Hull would have a really good opportunity to, to lift the cup. I, my money, though, if I'm going to spend a 50p, George, is, uh, is with the Cherry and White. Then, yeah. Is with Wigan. James. I might even raise it and go a pound. <laughs> and, and, and I might stick it on Hull. I, I actually think, I think this is their year. I, I've had a feeling since they beat Wakefield in the early rounds and then the way they beat Catalan and Warrington was so impressive. They've prioritised the cup this year over everything else and, and I just think they might just do it by, by six, six to eight points. Which leaves Jack Dearden in his shorts with the deciding vote for this uh, Challenge Cup final. I'm going to go with Wigan, George. I, I can't help thinking. I think Hull have had a terrific season and I say again, it's great for the game to have Hull at Wembley. A repeat of that 1985 final. Saw Hull very recently against Salford. Didn't sparkle. It's difficult to assess them on that performance. The week before a Wembley final, a little bit difficult. And I know the coaches have been saying, you know, previous form counts for nothing. Uh, I think Wigan will just have that little bit more experience. I would go Wigan. And by the way, I've got accounts with four leading bookmakers. <laughs> so I will be having a bet. Uh, and I'm afraid I'll probably go with Wigan on the handicap. But uh, I really do expect a very, very tight game at Wembley. If we get anything like we saw in 85, you know, we're in for a real treat. I hope you're right. Uh, enjoy it all. See you all down there, Jack, Trevor and James as well. Saturday afternoon, Wembley, Hull FC versus Wigan for the Challenge Cup. And we can't wait.